Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Thermalright Venomous X CPU cooler. Now this one here has an interesting design. We've seen something similar to this before. It's a tower shape with a U-shape copper heat pipe going through it. Here's the uh, stats for it. If you're interested, it's got six six millimeter heat pipes going through that copper base at the bottom in that U-shape, like I mentioned, through those fins. You can install up to two optional 120 millimeter fans on that, and it comes with Eclipse for that as well. Along with the uh, manual, you're going to get also the um, thermal paste for that, so that's very nice that they've included that. And of course, all the hardware that you need to install it on your favorite Intel or AMD CPU. Now, I'll be installing this on a Intel CPU, but I will also be adding these two optional 120 millimeter fans, which Thermalrite actually has a whole set of them ranging from 800 um, RPM to 2000 RPM. The one that I'm using today is 1300 RPM. Okay, here are the stats for the fan, and I'll be putting two of these, one on either side of that Venomous X tower. So it comes with a clips, so you can attach it, and that's pretty standard. And of course, on the fan, it comes with a three pin power connector, as you would expect, which you would attach to your motherboard. Okay, now when you go to install this, you got to look at the manual first and decide okay, what kit, what hardware do you need that comes with this so you can install it properly? Okay, so looking at the manual is crucial, and then you pick the kit and then you follow the instructions. Now, as you can see here, this is a pretty smooth copper base. It's got nickel plated, you know, nice shiny finish on it, premium look, very nice to look at, very aggressive. You can see the fins, how they're bent for faster airflow to go through them. And uh, looking at it from the top, actually, it's got a very aggressive and sharp look at it. So um, be careful on that uh, top part because it's actually very, very sharp, hence the name Venom. You can see here, um, the, the heat pipes end at the top, but look at those sharp edges here on the top. Those are like razor sharp teeth. Uh, so just a uh, word of caution on that. But uh, other than that, you just put two fans, one on either side, and then you're set. You wouldn't be touching that, obviously. But uh, very nice there from uh, Thermal Right. Looking at the uh, installation instructions, I'll be following the one here for installing an Intel CPU. So obviously, if you've got an Intel Core i5, i3, i7, um, that kit that it comes with here, that first bag, has everything that you need to install your Intel CPU on it. And if you're not installing an Intel CPU, don't worry, it's got another kit here for your AMD CPU. So you're all set with that as well, including the back plate. And here, this little piece here is common for both, so we'll be using that as well. And of course, there's the thermal grease and the clips for those fans. Okay, so that's crucial. Now, installing a fan is pretty straightforward. I've seen this um, method of installation before, and basically you just uh, put the clip on the hole on the top here and on the bottom. And then once you have that in there on both sides, then you just put the fan, hold it in place, and then it clips on to the sides of the fan as well into the holes of the fan. So that's pretty much uh, it for the uh, installation of the fan. There is some anti-vibration rubber that you can add in between that. So that's great that they've included that as well. Here's the motherboard that I have and I have an Intel Core i5-661 already on there. I put the bracket that it came with and basically this is what it looks like when you install uh, the CPU cooler with the two fans on it. Pretty cool, nice to look at. Lots of room for your RAM, for your memory too, so it didn't interfere there. Um, you can always take off one fan. Temperature-wise, at 3.4 gigahertz, it's about 35 to 40 degrees Celsius max. And um, on idle, it's about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, which is awesome. So this thing really does great cooling on this Intel Core i5-661, like I mentioned. I had previously on the same board the Cooler Master TX3, which actually um, did not cool as, as good as this. Of course, the TX3 only had one fan. And because of that, it was five degrees hotter. So this did a great job with two fans. It kept it five to seven degrees cooler. So great job from Thermalrite adding on that Venomous X cooler. And I'd like to thank them for providing it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.